How is my YouTube family doing today? I hope you are all keeping well. And for all those who are new and just joining me, I would like to welcome you to my channel. So with the cold weather and the freezing rain up and down with the weather, I have the perfect recipe for you all. In the winter weather, we like to have more warm drinks and warm soup. So a lot of that's gonna be happening this winter. Come on down and let's get started with this recipe. So I have all my ingredients here, which is not a lot. Just a few ingredients to make a nice hot cocoa from scratch. So today we're gonna go to vegan style, but you can make it in any which way you like. I have here the fresh cocoa circle this is fresh cocoa from the beans pound and roll together like this i'm using the jamaican cocoa we have them in guyana shaped like this but a little bit thicker not so skinny i couldn't find those ones you have to go to guyana to get those but i remember the very very beautiful unique flavor from the ones from guyana and i can't miss the opportunity to share it with you all they are made the same. This is like the cocoa ball and the hot chocolate, the instant hot chocolate from a bottle or a jar is nothing compared to this one. So I hope you will all give it a try and I will give some health benefit for this cocoa while I'm doing the video. So all we need is the cocoa. I'm gonna grate it because it takes a little while to dissolve into the milk and water. I have a stick of cinnamon here and I am using some freshly grated nutmeg. I like to use fresh spices because it brings out a nice flavor. I have some clove. If you have ground clove or if you can crush your clove to add it in there, it will be nice. Today I'm going to add mine whole. Today I'm using chocolate from Jamaica and it is not the chocolate bar but in the raw form and it is as rich as the one we have in Guyana as well and it will do the job fine. I have here some almond milk that I'm using. You can use your regular milk that you use in your kitchen. Coconut milk can also work for our vegan friends and I'm using some mixed essence. Vanilla essence can work as well. So that's all the ingredients we need on the stove here. I have some water. I'm going to start it and let the water boil with some of our spices. I will leave all the measurements and ingredients in the description box below. And if you never had hot cocoa like this, I hope you will give it a try. You can find these cocoa ball in the West Indian store. And for the winter weather, they are such a beautiful, warm, comforting drink. So while I'll be grating the cocoa ball, I just added my cinnamon and my clove to infuse into the boiling water. So some few tips from cocoa. Cocoa is good to boost your heart health, lower risk of diabetes. It also helps with visual function. It can reduce fat mass and obesity and it also protect our skin from UV light and improve in elasticity. Tell me after hearing all this if you don't want to consume this on a regular basis. Today I would like to shout out someone very supportive and always come on to give a beautiful comment. Cindy Pancho sending hugs from Canada. So now we're going to go in with some freshly grated nutmeg. You can use nutmeg powder if you have but the freshly grated nutmeg always smells so good and flavor up things so well. It smells like Christmas when I'm grating nutmeg. So you need a good portion, about a teaspoon in here. And I'm grating on the very fine side of our hand grater. This is a little bit coarser than that side. And this is the cheese side. But I am going in with the very, very fine side here. How it smells, Natalie? so look at how beautiful and nice and infused the water is we're gonna go in here and add our cocoa powder and you want to make sure that you add all give it a stir 
you can see the color change right away and have that nice beautiful beautiful color we're gonna make sure that we have it on the stove on medium heat until everything will and incorporate I'm gonna just put this measuring cup here to get out the rest remember to grate your cocoa or else it's gonna be chunky or it's gonna take very very long to dissolve because cocoa is a kind of thick kind of texture now I'm gonna go in with my milk in here Wow look at the color of this it is beautiful it is really really nice when the milk warm up a little I'm gonna go in with my nutmeg and vanilla essence so now it's time to go in with our generous amount of nutmeg and that's gonna be lovely in here so I'm still boiling on medium to low heat let everything infuse really well this go very nice just before bedtime on a cold winter night or if you're having a tea party. But because this is so rich and healthy, you bet it can work any time of the day and any time of the year. Look how beautiful and rich it looks on top. I'm gonna let this infuse some more and we'll come back soon to strain it up and enjoy a nice warm cup of cocoa tea. So with a little pinch of salt to balance off all the flavor, we're gonna add that just before we sweeten it. I'm gonna give it a stir. And when you're making this tea, take your time and make it so all the spices, the cocoa, the milk and everything can really infuse together to develop a beautiful rich flavor. It needs a little bit of time or else the flavor won't come true. Now, you can sweeten this with any of your favorite sweetener honey maple syrup you can go in with sweetened condensed milk or sugar the best sweetener i had with it so far was brown sugar it actually made the flavor of the cocoa pop and because we're doing vegan style today we're gonna stick with the brown sugar instead of condensed milk i'm gonna go in with sugar to taste i added about three tablespoon into mine you, if you like your sweeter you can add more if you like not too sweet you can add less depend on your taste buds the ingredients and measurement i'm providing today is for five servings so now we're straining off our cocoa tea nice and rich and smells really good so the straining process is just to get out all the grated nutmeg pieces and the pieces of the cocoa so you have a nice smooth rich cocoa tea look how beautiful and nice that is look in the cup how rich and beautiful and creamy it is so all are invited to our tea party here. Nice, fresh, hot cocoa tea made from scratch. Look how nice and rich and beautiful it is. So hot chocolate for everyone. Cheers, all my tea drinkers and chocolate friends. Happy, happy hot chocolate day. Let me taste for you all. I can see a nice oiliness on the top and that's from the cocoa. Mm. There is nothing like fresh chocolate tea. The nutmeg is coming through. I had a hint of the vanilla, the cinnamon and the clove. When you let it sit in the water and really draw all those flavor, oh my goodness. This right here is so satisfying, so rich, and so delicious. If you never tried before, you're missing out on a lot of goodness and rich flavor. This has so much health benefit, as I mentioned in the video. So please remember to give this a try. When you go to the West Indian store the next time, you're going to find them selling right in the West Indian store. Thank you all for watching. 
I hope you'll give it a try. Let me know when you do. I, my kids are anxiously waiting to have their cup because they know how good it is. Take care. God bless. Bye for now.